I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, somebody asked me to do this. I've never done it before in this manner. I have done it, um, you know, for like one or two people or 50 people, but not for the group. And I wanted to start with my earth signs because, you know, as my first, so yes, you're my guinea pigs. Hope that that works. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, but you have shown me the most support, and I really appreciate everything you've given back to me. The love. I don't mind being compared to your grandma, to your mom, to your godmother. I don't mind that at all. It just shows, you know, it just makes my heart feel very warm. So thank you very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do December, today's the 16th, so December 17th and 18th, General Energies. Again, this is kind of a new thing for me. So you're gonna to have to tell me if this works. And I'm going to post it for the, my earth signs first. And I feel like if I feel like it's going well, then I'll do the other signs too afterwards. So we'll see what happens. Remember, these are just general readings, general um, impressions. Take what you like, leave the rest. I use my same cards and this is gonna be quick. You know, it's gonna be kind of like that down and dirty type of thing. And I use my same cards. Generally, I start just with the Doreen Virtue cards, and then if I need the other two to clarify, I will do that too. I have meditated these over these cards, and I have also done my put my Reiki energy into these cards too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my Tauruses first, then I'm going to do my Capricorns, and then my Virgos. I do not know how to do a timestamp, and I know that there's ways to do a timestamp. So my you know, to you. My lovely people, my lovely subscribers, if you know how to do timestamps, can you do a comment and tell me? So, so this is this is for my subscribers because you guys have just been, you know, you men and women, you've been wonderful to me, and I really appreciate everything you've done. So let's just see. Let's do a three-card pull for general energies for December 17th and 18th for Taurus. Now I understand. Now I will tell you too, as a channeler. Um, when I am doing this and when I'm recording, I don't go back. Once I start shuffling the cards, it's out there. You know, maybe my intro might, I might redo my intro a little bit. But once I start shuffling and pulling the cards, I don't, I don't go back and I don't redo my videos. I don't try to fix them. So, um, but as a channeler, I can get, um, I'm not taking any cards just yet. I can get things that just come out of my mouth and people that have had readings with me, they know. All of a sudden, it's like I'll say, you, you've got, wait a minute, hold on, don't talk anymore. I just got to say it. And um, it may not make sense. Okay, okay, take those two. We, it may not make sense at the time. So I understand the Taurus. Yes, I did too, March. Say March. So maybe for those people that did catch it, it will be, you know, maybe that is specific for you. Because like I said, um, a lot of times what will come out of my mouth is basically it's for you. Okay, so I hope that that's, you know, the people, you know, that have commented on it, yes, just know that. So basically, I've gotten, um, actually, four cards have popped up, and they're all reversed. And you know that I'm an intuitive reader, so we will show you the quick cards. Nine of Air. Renewal. Page of Air. and the High Priestess. Okay, so first thing that's jumping out at me is you've got a lot of, um, you know, and, and, okay, it's a lot of the air quality is coming in, and to me that's Gemini, and it's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but, all, but my thought is Gemini, so it could be that you're going to be working with a Gemini, it could be that they um, will be coming out telling you, okay, Nine of Air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, Sleepless Nights. Um, renewal is Archangel Jeremiel. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction, which has been what we've been talking about. And Page of Air, logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Challenging new information, delays or changes to plans. Truth delivered without tact. And the High Priestess is listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So basically the next two days are going to have some sort of a mixed, um, 
It's actually, I'm feeling like it's going to be a very positive next two days. However, you may not go into it very positive. You may feel, you know, you may feel like, oh, it's going to be really bad, but I think it's actually going to surprise you. I think that um, you're actually going to get new information that's going to be something that changes what you actually know to be true and uh, or what you thought you knew to be true. And I think that, you know, um, I think that this is the time for you that actually these two days, the 17th and 18th, I want you to step back. I want you to put your fears, you know, stifle your fears. I want you to just watch what's going on around you. And I want you to just kind of absorb and think about what is happening and, you know, use your intuition. Now it says, has, you know, you listen to the high priestess, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. I think this is the time for you to, um, you know, I'm just kind of getting, don't rush into things. So things to do, things to learn, lessons to learn. Don't rush into things, take a step back, um, stifle your, um, your negativity, stifle anything that you're, you know, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, uh, sleepless nights. Stop thinking that, you know, okay, when you go into work, when you start going to school, when you have your relationships on Monday, Tuesday, stop thinking that it's all going to go against you. These things are changing, but you also have to act on these changes. You know, I mean, sometimes, um, you know, tell people, oh, you could be getting a job, but if you don't go and apply for a job, it's not going to happen. So you have to pull your weight on this and you have to do what you need to do for this. Um, hope that makes sense. This is for your Monday, Tuesday. Let's see if there's anything else I want to say about this. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move on in a new direction. Yeah, your, your, your changes are definitely coming. Let's just pull one. Let's see if one card of my psychic tarot wants to come out and do any clarification on this. I just feel like this is a, uh... oh, okay. Okay. Well, the card that came out, Heartache and Loss, which is the card that um, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights, so basically what I'm, what I'm thinking is you're still in that place where you're feeling, you know, you're feeling like nothing's going to go hap nothing's happening right for me. You got to change that. You got to go forward because this is, these two days are going to be pivotal for you. I'm feeling pivotal. I'm feeling that this is where you have to change your attitude. You have to um, just kind of have patience and you just have to go. You know, you just have to temper, tamper, you know, stop down the negativity and go forward. Okay? Hope that makes sense. So now let's go on to our Capricorns. And let me put these cards. You can see I put them in different areas. Oops, except they're going in upside down. So I put them, you know, so that it don't come out the same. And this is what I do whenever I do a... Uh, you know, readings for you and any other kind of readings. I just kind of do that so that they don't pop together. And then I'm going to shuffle. Now, this is for our Capricorns. For our, okay, for our 17th and 18th. Right, today is still 16th for December. Anything you want to say for our Capricorns? 17th and 18th. General, and okay, general energy. So we got three cards. Let's go and pull these out. So if anybody knows how to do the timestamps, this is when you would have done that timestamps. Help me, please. Comment below. Let me know. Okay, first card, seventh of earth. Seeds well planted. Second card, oh, beginnings, the dreamer. Third card, this is upside down. And you saw, I put my cards in a different way, but earth signs... A lot of the things that I've been seeing for my um, my Tauruses have popped a little bit into Capricorn and into Virgo. So, you know, you do have that Earth energy going on right now because this one came up, the High Priestess, again. And these were the ones that popped out. 
So seventh of, seven of earth is, and again, earth sign, you. Uh, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. The dreamer is, and that's Archangel Metatron, leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities, and the high priestess, Archangel Haniel, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So these next two days for you, Monday and Tuesday, the 17th and 18th, you've been putting in your work. Now, I'm not, you know, again, it's like the light switch. I'm not saying that, oh, yes, everything's wonderful tomorrow and, you know, and Tuesday. But the thing is, these two days show tremendous. I mean, you've got two major arcana cards here. They show tremendous, and also two. Taurus, you had two also. But you have some amazing energy here to start new things, to start going forward, taking that leap of faith, you know, I've been telling you basically, you know, it says follow your dreams. So I hope you've been getting your dreams ready because opportunities could be coming and you need to listen to your intuition. Okay. And Capricorns, you know, I mean, what I love about my earth signs, and this is both my, all my Taurus, my Capricorns and my Virgo, is while you are very earthy and while you are into, you know, your home, your um, you know, your security, and, you know, roof over your head, money in the bank. I have come to really appreciate how intuitive you are. Again, too, and I've said this, I think I've said this to all three of you, is you've got to start letting your, you know, taking your mind, and your mind is your servant. It is not, you are not your mind servant. So the next two days for your next energy with the next two days with the energy is you have to listen to that intuitiveness you have to listen to that inside voice you know um if you ever watched the cartoon you know jiminy um pinocchio you know your little jiminy cricket and i don't mean it as your consciousness i, I mean your conscious i mean it as that little piece of you that is thinking this is what i need to do you know it may not make sense but this is what i need to do so these are these to me are coming up that you've been doing your work, you've been putting it out there, and you know something something is going to happen that it's going to be like, you know, and it could be a thought, it could be just a thought like, hey, you know, I never really thought of doing it this way, I never thought of that job opportunity, I never thought to change my business this way, I've never thought to handle my relationships this way. It could be that, or it could be that outside thing coming in to say, hey, would you be considering this as a new job? Would you be considering this? It could be an, even a new person coming into your life, too, if that's, what your, if that's what your energy and focus is. Again, too, if you're looking for a new job, a new person, you do have to get out. You do have to do the footwork, okay? But otherwise, I am seeing the, the general energies for Monday and Tuesday, the 17th and the 18th of December, I am seeing that this is a time that I, I you know, I, I'm feeling good energy for you, high energy for you. I'm feeling like you're going to be looking at, you're going to be looking at the world and saying, darn it all, I'm going to move out. I'm going to start, I'm, it's starting to happen for me. Okay. You know, things are starting to happen and I'm feeling your energy is starting to become more positive. Okay. So let's go on now to Virgo. I don't think I really need any more clarification on that. And again, make sure I do it right. I am putting these cards in separate areas. And here we go. So they're all in separate, you know, so I, I say so it's just whatever pops, pops, okay? And now we're doing Virgo. Virgo for the 17th and the 18th, Monday and Tuesday, general energy. What do they need to know, Virgos? My lovely, lovely earth signs, but my Virgos. Virgo, Virgo. Come on, is anything popping for Virgo? Let's go in and out, in and out. Let's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, nothing popping, so what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle one more time. And also, too, I will then cut the cards. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Cut, cut, cut. Pull three cards up off of the top. Okay. 
First card is the Knight of Air. And again, you know, there's your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And that came in again. I wasn't that with, did we have that? No, we didn't have that one with. We, I think we had the Page of Air with our Tauruses. And then we have our Ten of Earth. So, and Earth is your sign. Okay, Knight of Air, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative um, solutions. Ten of Earth, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things of life or in life. And this one is reversed, so let's see what this will be. This is our Queen of Air. Queen of Air is, um, okay, independent, experience, realistic, witty, Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So what's jumping out at me is you're going to be, you know, okay, maybe this is just you're going into the office to clean your office out. Maybe you're at home, but you're cleaning your home out. Your energy is actually coming into a higher level this Monday and Tuesday. And um, you are basically going to be, you know, you're going to, you're going to actually be, um, how, what do I want to say with this? You're actually going to, besides having a higher level of energy these two days, um, you're actually, you're, it's like your imagination, you know, where it says creative and solutions, but it's like your imagination is um, at a higher level. You know, that I'm really feeling like your imagination, you know, you want that, you, you love having that happy family life, you know, and financial security. And those are things, you're going to feel good about your money these next two days. But it's like your imagination and your decision making and your, you know, it, it's like you've got a better control over your mind than you've had, you know, than you've had. Or this is, these are going to be, these two days are going to have a good, you're going to have a good control over your thoughts and your decisions, you're going to be, you know, again, and I think we've talked, you're going to be getting rid of some of that old, and you're going to be going on with some of that new. And this is, you know, this is what your general energy is going to be, Virgo. I'm, I'm feeling that this is going to be, you know, um, things are going to happen quickly for you. So when it happens quickly, you do need to be able to make sure your decisions are the right decisions, okay? I don't mean, I shouldn't say the right decisions, that, that you're taking what you need and you're making, you know, you're making sound decisions. How's that sound decisions? Because, um, you know, you're going to be getting, yeah, this, this energy is, if you're not going to be doing it these next two days, then you are getting ready to get rid of that old stuff and go on to the new. I mean, I know that, you know, um, Virgo, and I don't really remember a lot of what I say on my videos because, you know, it's like, you know, once I do this, the message is delivered. I, you know, I'll remember, you know, on my readings, I tell people, I'll remember you. I just won't remember what I told you, okay, all the time, most of the time. But I'm feeling, at, you know, um, Virgo, this is going to be, again, for all, all of you Earth signs, this is going to be a very highly energized next two days. You're going to have that energy. You're going to feel really good. And But for Virgo, you're going to be making some decisions that are going to be very clear and very, um, they're going to be centered around your family and your home life. These are going to be, you know, they're going to be, and again, I, I keep feeling job changes for you Virgos. I keep feeling like you don't like what you've been doing. You're going to be going to the forward. So maybe this is the time that you're going to start to have, or this is the time for your clarity. Not going to say, you know, we're going to see what the next general energies are, you know. But um, for these two days, you're going to have good clarity okay so that's it um, I hope that you know, let me know if this is something that um, you would like me to do if you'd like me to do this then you know a couple times a week at least on the weeks that I don't post a video I can do these let me know because I've really you know most of my comments come from my Taurus Capricorn and my Virgos and I appreciate you so so much and again, too, if anyone knows how to do that um, timestamp thing so that we can do like, okay, here's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, help me out. Teach me, please. Okay. Thank you very much. And have a, I mean, good energy for all three of you. Okay. Bye-bye. And blessings. And you are loved. Okay. Bye-bye.